we will solve a rudow problem 162 in this problem there is a weight m which is connected by two identical strings of length l a bullet strikes this mass and because of the impact bullet gets embedded here and the combined system moves and it swings an angle theta we have to find out what was the velocity of the bullet in such cases where the bullet gets embedded or the two bodies stick together it's an inelastic collision so do not apply conservation of energy from this stage means prior to the striking stage to the final stage because there has been some loss of energy in between so do not when the collision is inelastic do not equate this energy with the final energy what you have to equate is the energy after the collision energy after the collision means what is the velocity with which the combined system has just moved after the collision and this stage so there are three stages this is stage one this is stage two and this is stage three between stage one and two apply conservation of momentum so that is independent of elastic or inelastic collision and between stage two and three apply conservation of energy do not apply directly between 1 and 3 directly do not apply do not apply conservation of energy please note these are important points now let us do step by step it's a very easy problem initial velocity is u what is the velocity of the combined system apply conservation of momentum so m u is equal to m plus m into v so v is equal to m u upon m plus m now you have this is stage where bullet and body is are moving with the velocity v and they combinedly reach this height the height gained would be l minus l cos theta this is l cos theta this one and the hole was l so this is l 1 minus cos theta so this energy is gets converted into the potential energy so energy at this stage is half m plus m this is square means m square u square upon m plus m whole square is equal to the energy at this stage which would be m plus m into g into l 1 minus cos theta this value will come as u square is equal to m plus m upon m whole square into g l twice g l 1 minus cos theta this can be written as m upon m plus 1 whole square twice g l twice sine square theta upon 2 1 minus cos theta is twice sine square theta upon 2 so u is under root of this this is very large as compared to 1 so this is m upon m 1 can be ignored so the final value comes m upon m twice sine theta by 2 into root g l is the answer as far as the velocity is concerned
now we have to find what fraction of the initial energy gets converted into heat energy there is some initial energy which is half mu square and the energy after collision is half m plus m v square what is the change in energy is half mu square minus 1 upon 2 m plus m v square which is the energy after the collision and what is the fraction divided by half m u square what is this as a fraction of initial energy this becomes half m u square so it becomes 1 minus m plus m upon m into v square upon u square which is nothing but v upon u it becomes 1 minus m plus m upon m v square upon u square is m square upon m plus m whole square so it becomes 1 minus m upon m plus m is equal to 1 minus divide by m 1 upon m upon m plus 1 this is very large as compared to 1 you write like this so it becomes 1 minus m upon m is the answer for the fraction of energy which is lost as heat energy so that is all for the problem thank you